Oh, I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Clashes with my complexion, you should know that. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. Lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. 
Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. so eager to practice. Strike! Blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you... Behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe Don't if you fall. Don't me, Geralt. I'll trip and fall.
I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did. Read the chapter. Still, you should have asked But if... you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals? Let's get... Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Yo. 
You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm hmm True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm, at least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be done in soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. 
certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Just follow. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. It's not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but Griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? 
Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Get him. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burned flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms. The Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Show me where you got but Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Thanks. For everything.
help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here, Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the... I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the right, sun before you comprehend these rules. I don't need teaching. Got a minute? I just gotta build that. Ditch. Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Awesome word, by the way. Poppycock? Amazing. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see'll kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. how this guy's initials are G-O-D. God. Like, he's not a god, but I guarantee he's the devil, bro. Because in the DLC, this man is straight psychotic. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Like Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant. That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. 
Do you need something? I I'll let it go half free. Durban now, D E R V A N, not going to want to. Hey, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I told you that. Uh, Jetty! Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. Here. Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang down to to plate, shoe horses. That's sort what of I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Something jumped out of the rushes. Lost his boots Drowners. in the rush. But he managed to escape. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Me gran told me about the Smith's boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby. Started poking him, asking. When he started twisting... The trail ends here. But I'll recognize him by his wounds. To a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, 
Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. Trouble. Gotta go. Apologize. Let <sighs> me a hand in the orchard. Please, me. Ah. We'll talk about this later. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Freak. preserve you. <laughs> Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why'd you put out a notice just now? 
because earlier on we drew our water from the river, but so many corpses floating in it after the battle, it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher, felt dreadfully ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink, and not beer nor cider, but water, clear, pure water. And where am I to get that, if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away, and it don't let any man near. This ghost, describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening, awful. I meant, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. I feel for you, but this is my job. So let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. All right, I think it doesn't matter because I think we let him keep it anyways and then we just steal everything. That settles ourselves. it then. Fine, I'll help. Would Where's this well? In Havel, a settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. the noon wraith to this place an object something she needs before she'll leave this world noon wraith won't stray too far from the well blood stains Almost faded, but 
the lines taut. Something's not right. A corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Round 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil, drink some potions.
She's gone. For good. That was like a new twist on the fight. I don't remember her sucking from me before. Maybe I just have never let her do that to me? I don't know. That, that seemed like a new part of that. Maybe there'll be uh, new features of all these monster contracts. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. Let's go! Trick, another trick on the lower difficulty. You can just meditate. You don't have to waste it. On the hardest difficulty, you cannot meditate. This game looks great, though. But you feel more in the nature, whereas before we used to ride through here, you felt like you were above. Almost. You know what I mean? Like all these trees and everything was small, your horse was really big. Even the deer looked bigger. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. Yeah, this is the one. Look, so you can be a... At this danger, point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Those warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least. Good luck. That's it, Roach. We'll eat myrtle grass during the hungry gap. They've taken all our bread. of the Flyhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Non <laughs> Faster. I am my data. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. 
I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. All right, enemy. Let's see if we can do this. Jump his knee down next. Nope, I died. Oh, I caught on. Let's go. Controls are a little different. Did they switch the, the run from what I'm used to? And I was just playing last night, so it's taking a little time to get used to. I think that's all that's here. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Yeah, but you can't take anything on this side. You can't loot none of this, or they'll attack you. But that other bridge, you can't. Griffin is under the Epstreda, Asad and Kada. We must requisition the sheriff. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. They should have See the calluses? The armor that was in, uh, These are not the hands the of an Excellency, that. but this of a farmer. Armor is so we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, that Dark will do. Like Let us settle on it, and I wish room. to see the transport soon. <laughs> oh, like, thank uh, you, sir. Thank you so kindly. Bad. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Hello? Yo, what's up, bro? Hey. Very perceptive of you. Doing. Geralt of Rivia. Oh, Witcher. Live streaming this that girl. Witcher update. This explains oh, why no, no, I did no, not no, hear no. your footsteps. What oh, do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where I, uh, was she headed? Had a that is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. What do you mean? Haven't called the guards. Um, so go ahead. What? What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. Oh, that's then just your like. I shall um, see what I can do. Cause like I uh, downloaded it, installed it. You know what I mean? And then it was like, now go to your files and find this file to like allow it to do something. And I couldn't find the file. That'll be. You it's your. Uh, it's Griffin. just a Red Dead game. Because I care about itself. people. Like so, the it'll be in your. Beast has killed ten already. Program files, including a few so of my men. One. To hunt it, I would yeah, need to mobilize the entire there. garrison, comb yeah, the woods, the organize a battle. Uh, Simply impossible. Too big a hassle. No. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if we'll need to get teams. I cannot we disperse shouldn't. my forces. Because Demeria's army we have crushed, but its have common folk not. remain. I really Ready hope that. I hate teams. Call to it's arms. so fucking stupid. So, it's such a pain in the ass. Griffin, really I can is. sit on my hands. Or I oh no, I fucking I was downloading it last night and I fell asleep because it was taking it's so long. And I just let my PC Some run. Questions and I woke before up, I start. Saw it was done downloading. And I was like, damn man, I might. Like, it get kept on to the play. Vulpine Woods at first. One o'clock. I was like, oh, I shit. sent a patrol. Forgot I got to work tomorrow. I definitely can't play. Wait, let's uh, uh, uh wrong thing. So how's the Witcher? Oh, it's good, dude. The graphics look sick as fuck now. Oh, hang on one sec. Trying to figure a way to get rid of Discord. Audio oh. output. Audio oh. output. Oh. All right. Back. I can't remember. I did it once, bro, and I can't remember how to do it again. Do what? Get rid of Discord on uh, OBS. That way you ain't got to worry about um, Pink. say or anything. I've I've done that too. I've if I had OBS downloaded, I'd just go try to do it. I forget what it is, dude. Um, you should be. Oh yeah, I do have it. Cause audio output is. I always get confused, bro. Especially I'm a pothead. So, all right, input is what is coming in, like my mic, right? And output would be like coming out of uh the game. Um, input, yeah. 
so if I hide this, right, it, it still picks up my mic. Well, uh, well, does it pick up my mic there? Yeah. Okay, I think it just picked up. Okay, so I think it does that, and then if I go back to the game. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, oh, no. fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. They Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Specific herb, one room they Buckthorn. Clean today. Scent should lure the griffin from it's ten so miles off. Fucking Buck bored. Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. I'll need bait. A specific herb. But... No. Go... Need... They won't... Miz... To me... This... Damn, how tall do I make my person? For what? Your, oh, that roleplay server? Yeah. Alright, I'm leaving away, sir. What do, we, what do we do? Do we make our guys hella tall or hella short? Uh, I think I'm gonna try to go to the same. Tall or fat? Tall or fat? Tall or fat guy, yeah. 